boys and girls, and welcome to Storytime Adventure, the podcast where we go on magical journeys with some very special effects. I'm Adhira, and today we have a fun story for you all about a little bear named Mary and a very big adventure. So, are you ready to join me? Let's go! Once upon a time, in a cozy forest full of tall trees and bright flowers, there lived a little bear named Benny. Benny wasn't very big and he wasn't very strong, but he was very curious and very, very brave. One sunny morning, Benny decided to go exploring. I'm going to find the tallest tree in the whole forest, he told his best friend Lily the little squirrel. But aren't you afraid of getting lost? asked Lily. Benny shook his head with a big smile. No way, I'm Benny the Brave, he said proudly. So off Benny went, wandering deeper and deeper into the forest. He saw butterflies fluttering, heard birds singing, and even spotted a family of rabbits playing hide and seek. But Benny kept going because he was on a mission to find the tallest tree. Finally, Benny saw it, the biggest tree he had ever seen. It was so tall, he could hardly see the top. Benny took a deep breath and started to climb. He was careful, climbing slowly, one paw after the other. Look at me! I'm climbing the tallest tree in the forest. Just as Penny was halfway up, he heard a tiny voice calling from below. Help! Help! It was a little bird flapping its wings and looking worried. What's wrong? asked Penny, climbing back down carefully to help. Oh, Benny, my baby brother is stuck in a bush and he can't fly out. Benny knew just what to do. He might not be big, but he was kind, brave and kind. I'll help you, he said with a smile. Benny and the little bird hurried to the bush. And there they saw the little bird chirping for help. Benny gently moved the branches, making a path for the little bird to fly free. The little bird family cheered with joy and the mama bird thanked Benny with a big hug. You're a hero, Benny, she said. Benny felt a little shy but very proud. He didn't climb the tallest tree that day, but he did something even better. He helped a friend in me. With his heart full of joy, Benny walked back home thinking, maybe being brave isn't just about climbing tree. Maybe it's about helping others too. And from that day on, Benny was known not just as Benny the Brave, but as Benny the Kind and Brave. So boys and girls, that's the end of Benny's adventure. Remember, just like Benny, you don't need to be the biggest or the strongest to be a hero. Sometimes being brave just means being kind and helping those around you. Thank you for joining us at Storytime Adventure. I hope you enjoyed the story of Benny, the brave little bear. Until next time, keep being kind, stay curious and remember, Every little adventure makes you a little bit braver. Goodbye. Happy reading.